petting zoo, uh, kind of later in the fall, we had a zebu put down there. And he's uh, the zebu normally comes from Africa or India, and they have that big like hump behind their neck okay. and the uh, dewlap under their chin. And, and But this is a dwarf zebu, so he's short. So we still have Becky the cow in there, and she's an Angus variety of cow, and then the zebu. And we also have a couple of guinea hogs that we'll have down there, at, which are pigs. And uh, it's kind of new, and, and uh, it's just a big, fat, 200-pound pig that we'll have there at the, in the petting zoo area, so he's new. Okay. Baby watch-wise is what we're kind of excited about this year. We have 12 goats that are pregnant, and they should start delivering babies in April and May, and probably even into June. So we try to spread that out as well. The ringtail lemur, that's the other one I was wanting to mention it. Um, we're kind of watching the keepers think it's getting bigger, but we're not for sure. And so uh, March 27th, I think last year, they gave birth to a single baby. And so it would be into March, early April when she would have it if she is getting poochy with baby instead of just too much food. Um, we think our wallabies are pregnant. And when the, that, the wallaby baby is born, it's the size of a, like a bumblebee or like the end of your thumb. It's a pretty small um, little critter and it makes that journey from the, the from the birth canal up into the, the pouch area and stays there for three months before it pokes its head out so mm -hmm. it'll be probably early to mid-May before we start seeing the head poking out but hopefully earlier than that we'll see the movement inside the pouch. It's really hard before I figure out which one's the male which is the female.